everybody, James Akers here, the tie guy. We're going to be doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to be focusing a little bit more on a shirt than the tie, although we are going to be tying a tie for you. Don't worry, because I am the tie guy. This particular shirt, I've actually had this for, uh, for a little while. It's by Ilm Taylor. Ilm Taylor has a different way of doing things. They, they have an app where the, uh, I actually use my iPad for it. Uh, you put your iPad up against the floor and you stand a certain distance away, and they measure you and you turn around, and it takes all your measurements. And then they take that data and they, they tailor a shirt to you. So as you can see, this is pretty well tailored to me. You know, uh, I have a pretty athletic body. I work out a lot. And so my, uh, I come in a little bit through here. Uh, I, I, I have a larger upper body than I do a midsection. So it's harder for me to find a shirt off the rack. Almost every shirt I have has to be altered to fit me because I have a certain feel I like. I like it to hug me just a little bit. The only complaint I have probably about Young Taylor is it takes them a while to produce the shirt. Uh, so they take your measurements and then um, they have a factory somewhere overseas that actually puts the shirts together and then ships them to you. And I bought a couple shirts from them on my last fitting. Uh, it's been over a year ago, but my size is about the same. And it, it is a very nice fit. You know, my neck is absolutely perfect. My arms are good. I've got, uh, even though I have larger arms, I still have a little bit of space here. My chest, everything hugs me really nice and tight and it comes in a little bit on my sides. So, as far as the fit goes, great job, Elm Taylor. Uh, construction, it's pretty well constructed. Materials, I would give it probably a C. Uh, it doesn't compare to like your Xenia, your Eaton, uh, your Keton, those type. But it's also a different price point. I think the shirts for Elm Taylor are in the $100 range, somewhere around there, maybe just a little over, whereas the Xenia is around $500. So obviously you would expect a difference in material there, but I'm just giving you an honest review. Fit. Perfect. I mean, I don't know that I've had another shirt. I mean, I've had a lot, uh, almost every shirt I have is tailored to me. And fit-wise, this is as good as any of them. I'm not going to say better or worse. It's, it's definitely as good as any of them. Um, uh, the, the lady does alterations down in, in Charlotte. Her name's Caroline. She works for Neiman Marcus. And she does a phenomenal job on my shirts and fits them to me. And this fits just as good as Carolyn's uh, shirts uh, uh, alterations are. So, so that's my review of the Elm Taylor shirt. If you don't mind waiting a month or two to get your shirt in, uh, they do a freaking great job. Uh, good material. Uh, you know, it's not luxury level material, but it's definitely good material. Fit, perfect. Um, the, the ease of use is perfect. Just a little bit of a lead time there. So that's my review of this shirt. Now let's talk about tie. Got a brand new Giorgio Armani tie that I haven't tied yet. This is a very traditional looking tie. It's kind of a uh, beige color tie with navy blue stripes going across it diagonally. Now, my only beef with Giorgio Armani is I don't think they make their ties quite long enough, but as far as the design, I, they're one of my favorite designs looks wise because I'm a traditionalist. Wins or not, traditional look. I don't wear a lot of flashy stuff. Uh, when it comes to my suits and ties. Now I do got a, I do have a couple pair of Gucci shoes I wear with jeans that are a little bit flashy, but outside of that, I'm not a real flashy guy. Um, silk lays nice. It's a good construction. It's not a super thick tie. It's about the the same uh, same uh, width, or I'm sorry, thickness as say a Hermes or a Salvatore Ferragamo. It's right in that range. Not quite as nice of a silk as Hermes or Salvatore Ferragamo, in my opinion. Just doesn't have quite that luxury feel, but still a very well made tie. So let's tie this up. See how it comes together. Now we're not doing a complete tie tutorial on this video. I've got plenty of those. If you need to learn how to tie a tie, I'm just going to tie it in front of you and go through the steps with you here. So let me find my length here. It's probably going to be right about here. Go over the top, up and through. Come around behind, all the way around up and over. Go through the steps, but I'm not taking a lot of time here because I do have plenty of tutorial videos on my YouTube channel that you can watch and you can learn how to tie the perfect double Windsor or full Windsor knot. Tidy this baby up, bring it up, and let's see about our length. We want the tip to come between top and bottom belt buckle. We are dead on, perfect. Another thing about these Elm Taylor shirts, the, um, the color stays are actually made of metal. Let me see if I can get one out here and show you. They're, um, they're made of metal. It's pretty cool. You know, even the luxury brands don't do that. They, uh, they make their color stays out of, um, I'm going to have to look in a mirror to do this. I'll put this color stay back in here just a little bit. I don't want to, I don't want to take too much time on this video here. But I will be putting that collar stay back in before I take my Instagram pictures. Most uh, luxury brands use either uh, plastic collar stays or they're built into the collar. And that's just kind of a nice little touch. Just make sure you take them out before you wash your shirt because that could definitely pierce, uh, put a hole in one of your other pe uh, uh, pieces of clothing. I'm going to go through the look with you right now. It's going to start scrolling across the bottom of your screen right now. Uh, we're wearing a brown Amerna Gildo Zinnia suit. 
So brown Amerna Gildo Zinnia suit, a dark blue Elm Taylor shirt that's been tailored to me, a beige um, Giorgio Armani tie with navy blue diagonal stripes. We're pairing that with a dark brown South Torrey Ferragamo belt with a gold belt buckle and a beautiful pair of Bally uh, chocolate brown or dark brown Oxfords. Now I'm getting ready to make a trip. Actually tomorrow morning I'm leaving for Charlotte for another uh, shopping trip with my stylist Andre down at Neiman Marcus. Uh, I'll be hitting up my folks over at uh, Gucci and Louis Vuitton and Burberry as well. Going to pick out some new stuff for my videos and I'm in need of a little bit of retail therapy. been a rough couple weeks, so I can't wait to get away. So I'll be bringing that content to you as I have it. But check out my Instagram. My Instagram is TyGuyJamesAcres. Um, I'll be posting pictures of my Charlotte trip. I'm also taking my daughter to Scarowins and Carowins on, uh, and Top Golf on Saturday. We always have a good time when we get away. Uh, love you, Emily. And uh, we're going to have a good little daddy-daughter weekend. It's going to be a blast. So uh, check out my Instagram. I'll be posting pictures this weekend on my Instagram. Maybe a little Instagram story as well. And you'll see selfies of me in the outfit, close-ups of everything, the whole outfit put together, as well as uh, close-ups of the tags and everything. So you can check that out. So, guys, I am ready for work. Y'all have a great day.